Elkies Perez today on Coral Gables Now. Some heart attack patients are beating the odds in Coral Gables. What makes this city so different? Drivers, think twice before you run a red light. I have the details. Children in the poorest regions of Mexico are hungry to learn and take control of their own future. We'll show you a local team giving them the power to do just that. Coral Gable seniors recently came together to showcase their artistic talents at the Celebration of Talent Art Contest. See some of those winning entries and find out who the grand prize winner was later in the show. Have you ever wondered what it's like to work for a small business in the city? Well, a member of the Coral Gables Chamber of Commerce has experienced it firsthand. Coming up on Coral Gables Now. And time is ticking away. Have you finished your holiday shopping or are you waiting until the last minute? Either way, we've brought in the shopping experts so you won't break the bank. Don't miss a minute of Coral Gables Now. It starts right now. And welcome to the holiday edition of Coral Gables Now. I'm Belkis Perez. In October of last year, we introduced you to a new medical procedure that lessens the irreparable damage that a heart attack can cause. The cutting-edge technique involves chilling the blood, basically inducing hypothermia in heart attack patients. So, has it worked? Here to give us an update is Coral Gables Fire Rescue Captain John Curry. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. So tell me about this um, uh, program. Basically, you've been here, I think it was a year ago that we introduced it, right? And right. Um, it works by chilling the saline solution that you then insert into a heart attack patient specific. They've got to meet the criteria. Exactly. So then tell me, um, you've been doing this since 2008. October 2008. Is when you, you had it out. So was it common practice by, back then? Um, no, it was uh, experimental used in hospitals okay. under very strict conditions. Um, some of them, the, the biggest event that brought it to the forefront was the football player who had uh, paralysis from an injury on the field. Um, they cooled him and he had remarkable results. Uh, that sort of brought it to the forefront. And so at that point, when you started this, you know, were you just one, were you the first in Miami-Dade? How about the nation? What were they doing? In respects to you? Well, that raised the level, you know, where everyone was looking at it, but we were lucky enough to uh, have our medical director, Dr. Mark Grossman, working in conjunction with our uh, EMS committee neurologist, Dr. Alex Forteza. They were on the cutting edge of this development and bringing it to the EMS field, uh, pre hospital setting. Mm -hmm. So they drafted a preliminary protocol on what they thought would work and what would be the inclusion criteria and we were lucky enough to uh, deploy it. So before that, you know, how, uh, you know, I figured that, you know, if no one else or very few people were doing it around the nation, how were you able to get this, you know, into our trucks? The hospital data that was coming out was irrefutable. Um, they were getting remarkable results with the cooling and it was uh, basically not much of a decision from our medical director's standpoint mm -hmm. that <clears throat> they had statistical data that said it did work and it was a very easy protocol to deploy in the field pre-hospital and EMS so that's how that came about. So Dr. Grossman wrote the protocol? Yes he did uh, working with uh, Dr. Alex Forteza. And how has it worked this past year? It's been phenomenal. We've uh, actually uh, deployed it on 12 patients so far and of the 12, we have several that are walking around living a full and healthy life. And our, our goal is to save the neurons. That's why you, you know, the brain neurons, during a cardiac arrest, there's no blood circulating into the brain. Mm -hmm. So with the induced hypothermia, that actually saves millions of neurons. So the quality of life after the full arrest is greatly improved. And, and um, how is that um, similar or not similar when you look at uh, this practice, uh, when you have heart attacks in other parts of the nation? Um, actually, we're pretty progressive down here in Florida and, you know, specifically South Florida. The EMS community is very proactive. We work together with other departments and 
we use what we call best practices. Um, the nation usually lags behind a little bit. Um, it's easier us for, uh, for us to deploy these cutting edge technologies, you know, due to the fact we have uh, aggressive young doctors such as Dr. Grossman and, you know, neurologists. We're lucky enough to have neurologists like uh, Alex Forteza working with us. Mm -hmm. So it's been relatively easy. So that means that this practice, instead of waiting until it gets to the hospital, where the patient gets to the hospital, where you might have already experienced some damage, you're implementing this right on the field to give, to, to actually preserve those neurons. Exactly. Okay. The sooner you can deploy this, the better. Okay. You know, the neurons die, you know, it's like six minutes before you start having brain damage irreparable. So um, the sooner we can deploy this and start cooling, uh, the better the outcome for the patient. And then uh, lastly, give me that, that stat that you have of the uh, percentage and how the survival rate of the nation as compared to Coral Gables. I think that's really telling about what we're doing yes, here locally. Um, statistically, if you have a full arrest, you know, cardiac arrest, your, your chances of survival are somewhere between the neighborhood of 7 and 9 percent. In Coral Gables, your chances of survival are up to 40 percent because of the cutting edge technology that we deploy. That's really important to know. Yeah, we're really, really proud of that. Yeah, uh, it's, it's great, especially for residents and, and people who visit the city because they know they're being taken care of, you know, that if something were to happen to them, that we've got these technologies that not everyone is using to, to really make a difference and save lives. So Captain Curry, thank you so much for giving us an update. And uh, we wish you much success with this endeavor and many others that I know you're working on. And for more yes, information on the uh, induced hypothermia program, you can call the fire department at 305-460-5537. And we've got a really busy show for you today. Coming up, a local student travels to the poorest neighborhoods in Mexico and Central America with a digital conviction to help children rise out of poverty. Traffic cameras are up and rolling. I'll tell you how they'll keep your city streets safe. And a devastating earthquake in Italy made it impossible for students to continue their education. How the University of Miami stepped in to help. Don't go away. Coral Gables Now. We'll be right back.